I'm Jean. And I'm Brett. And we're gonna show you how to do all the things on the monkey bars. All right, Gene, step one, grab the monkey bars. With one hand, grab a monkey bar. <laughs> and then reach for the next one. Come on, Gene! How about I teach you how to do a pull up? <laughs> pull yourself up! <laughs> Gene, you're supposed to pull yourself up. That's the whole point. <laughs> Hey everybody, I hope you all had a great week. I know it's the end of May, so you're probably getting antsy since summer break is just around the corner, but hang in there, you've got this. Well, we just wrapped up our series on resilience, and now we're entering into a new series called The Whole Point. Have you ever had to do something that seemed pointless? Like you're left feeling like, what the heck was the point of that? I've definitely had moments like that. I remember as a sophomore in high school, my biology teacher would sometimes put on a movie instead of teaching that day. Maybe he was tired, maybe he didn't feel well, I don't know. But the movies were definitely not educational. One day he put on one of the Halloween movies. You may have may or may not have heard of these movies called Halloween. There's a bunch of them by now. Um, but the one we watched was called Michael Myers Halloween. Anyway, they're in the horror or scary movie genre, which is totally not my jam, by the way. I get scared easily. So I was telling my mom at the dinner table that night about how we watched that, and her response was, what is the point of that? It's biology class. What does that have to do with biology? And to this day, I will never know that teacher's point. Again, maybe he was tired, but I will still never understand the point of putting that scary movie on for us in class. Anyway, just like I didn't see the point of doing that or watching that, I think sometimes we can feel the same way about our faith. We might feel like when it comes to faith, what's the point of all this? Now I know that this comparison might seem like comparing apples to oranges, but I wanted to give you an example of something that seemed pointless. And, well, that's what came to mind is that story. But my point, no pun intended, is that just like we question things in our lives that make us say, what's the point? We might do the same with our faith. And I want you to know that you're not alone and it's okay to question or have those feelings. You know, I think we get so many different messages about what the whole point of faith actually is. Maybe you've heard that following Jesus is all about things like peace and forgiveness and love. And if that's the whole point of faith, that sounds pretty good, right? That is until you hear other things. Like maybe you've heard faith is all about like, you have to pray more or listen to more worship music or memorize all these Bible verses or go to church every Sunday and you can't miss. And oh, no, you can't say any cuss words. Any of those things sound familiar? Does to me too. Sounds like a lot of rules and restrictions, doesn't it? In fact, when you think about it, sometimes the whole point of faith seems like just following a long list of rules sometimes. At least I felt like that before. And honestly, that doesn't sound all that great or appealing, does it? Because life is already full of rules. We have rules at home, we have rules at school, we have rules for the sports we play, rules for dating, rules for just about every single thing we do, right? There are literally rules everywhere for everything. So if the whole point of faith is just following the rules, why would we want to be a part of it? Why add more lists of rules to the rules that we already have? For some of you, thinking about following a ton of rules might make you want to give up on faith entirely. You feel like you can't actually do what you want when you want, or you're never going to hit the mark of all these things, right? And so that leads you to feeling like maybe faith just isn't for you. I get it if that's you today. Or maybe you've never really thought about this whole faith thing before. Maybe you've just heard about certain rules you're supposed to do or follow, and when it comes to faith, you've just never thought about it for yourself before. Or maybe for others of you, it makes you feel like faith just isn't for you right now. Maybe you'll decide to follow God when you're older, but for now, you want to have fun. You want more freedom. And that means you're not interested in this faith thing right now. It's just a bunch of rules to follow. We gotta wonder, isn't there more to faith than just following rules? 
Nobody wants to hear about all the ways that you're not doing a good job or not following the rules or not getting the point when it comes to faith or not hitting the mark on everything. Like I said earlier, that's okay. But here's the thing. The whole point of faith is about so much more. In fact, when we look at faith and following God like it's only about following the rules, then we're actually missing the whole point. Okay, so if our faith is not about following a bunch of rules, what is the point? What is the point then? Well, we're going to go to the Bible to help us answer that. The past few weeks, we've been referring to the letters that Paul wrote, so we're going to continue with that. Today, we'll look at a letter that he wrote to the Galatians. You see, the Christians in the town of Galatia were new to faith. Because of that, they wanted to learn exactly what following Jesus was supposed to be about. Because you see, this was after Jesus died and after Paul had an encounter with Jesus and turned his life over to him and went on to tell everyone about Jesus and how they can have a relationship with him even though he's no longer on the earth. Okay, so at the time, at that time, the Galatians were questioning that their, what their faith. And there was a group of people who believed that in order to be Christians, they had to keep the rules the Jewish people followed. Because of that, this faith that was brand new to the Galatians felt like it was more about following the rules than it was about freedom. I think we can relate to that, right? Here we are, thousands of years later, struggling with the same questions that the Galatians were asking way back then. Things like, is the whole point of faith really about rules? Or is it possible that following Jesus really could change everything? That it could be about freedom? So Christ has truly set us free. Now make sure that you stay free and don't get tied up again in slavery to the law. Galatians 5.1 so our verse right there, Paul tells us what the point is. He said that Jesus came to set us free. And because of that, we don't have to get tied up worrying about all the rules. We could focus on living in freedom rather than being stuck following the rules of the law. And because of Jesus, we can do that. When we commit to following Jesus with our lives, all we have to do is be free. How, you ask? Well, Paul went on to explain it this way. For if you are trying to make yourselves right with God by keeping the law, you have been cut off from Christ. You have fallen away from God's grace. Galatians 5.4 Here Paul said to the Galatians in Galatia, didn't have to worry about keeping up with the rules to be made right with God. Right? For God to think that they were good. They didn't have to do all the right things or make all the right decisions or know all the right things that they were supposed to know, right? None of that stuff would actually make them right with God. Only Jesus did that when he died on the cross. See, because of Jesus, they didn't have to worry about making themselves right with God. They didn't have to do anything or earn anything or behave really, really well for God to think that they were good. Jesus' death on the cross took care of all that once and for all. And you see, Christianity is really about freedom, freedom from following a bunch of rules to try to get right with God, freedom from our mistakes when we mess up, freedom from trying to be perfect, and freedom to live the best and most exciting life that God actually has for us. You see, what Paul wanted us to remember is the whole point of faith isn't to follow a bunch of rules. Instead, it's freedom. In other words, our faith gives us freedom. Look back at that first verse that we talked about. Christ has truly set us free. This verse could have said anything like, Christ truly wants us to follow rules. Christ truly wants us to always have good behavior. Christ truly wants us to know everything about religion. But it doesn't say any of that. It says that freedom is what Jesus truly wants for us. And because of that, our faith gives us freedom. Let's look back at the first verse we talked about. Christ has truly set us free. This verse could have said anything. It could have said, Christ truly wants us to follow rules. Christ truly wants us to have really good behavior. Christ truly wants us to know everything about religion. 
But it doesn't say any of that, does it? It says that freedom is what Jesus truly wants for us. And because of that, our faith gives us freedom. That's what faith is actually about. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to get everything right. And even when you mess up, you are still right with God. Trust me. All right, friends, let me pray for you. God, we just thank you that um, faith is not about rules and regulations and having to hit the right marks on everything and having to prove ourselves and make ourselves seem that we're perfect and have good behavior in order to be right with you. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, that right there takes care of everything. That right there makes us right with you. It's righteousness, it's right standing with you, God, and it has nothing to do with the rules and our behaviors. And um, yes, we, we wanna strive to be more like you, God, we do, but we are human and we're not going to hit that mark. So we just thank you that we are forgiven and that we are made right in your eyes because of what Jesus did on the cross. So help us remember that every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, you guys. See you next week.